the stat man Skevich here, Real Fans Real Talk, here with the biggest celebrity in the building and Bowling for Peace, Harlem's own Jim Jones. Welcome to the program, Jim. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How y'all feeling out there? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat scan. And if all right. Now, you, you're famous for the song, Ball, and one of, one of your big hits, but I didn't know you could actually ball out there. You were doing your thing. I wear a mean dark pair of shades. And you can't see my eyes. Unless my head is bent, you mm -hmm. dig? We fly, no lie, you know this. Falling, falling right outside, it's like show. Could you tell us about your performance? Uh, a little bit from Harlem. In Harlem, you, you grow up playing basketball. That's one of the uh, prime, th prime time things to do when you go outside. So, you know, that's where that stems from. Now, you're hurting a little bit after the game, it looks yeah. like. And in the first half, you came over to the scorer's table. I heard you say, you know, the Danny Glover line, you're too old for this. But <laughs> And your, your skills out there were a little bit old school, too. I saw the finger roll. I saw the, uh, you know, a little hook shot there. You lose, you lose a lot of old school moves all the time when you're out there on the court. A bucket is a bucket where I'm from, you heard? I bet you I had the most points on the, on the, on the basketball court. All right, and an overtime thriller, you actually ended up not getting the W, but I guess when you could get all these celebrities to come together for a good cause, uh, everybody wins. Could you tell us about why you got motivated to do Bowling for Peace? Um, it's for the kids, you know. I, 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 like, I like supporting the kids. I like giving the kids something to do, you know, let them know that there's people out here in my position that really – wants to give back and show them different things. So, you know, shout out to all the kids that came out to enjoy this event. Now, I heard you might be uh, interested in getting involved in politics. You're, you're, you're from Harlem. Harlem's changed a lot. Rent roll's going up a lot higher. What's your thoughts on uh, the change in Harlem the past few years? It's cool. It's called gentrification. Um, it, it's, not, it's, it's not as many jobs for the people out of Harlem that I would like to see. But, you know, it makes the neighborhood look good. I, I come from where every block was abandoned buildings and stuff like that. So to see them starting to put high rises and co-ops and condos and stuff like that, it feels good. All right. Now, uh, is there anything that you have coming up music-wise or the charity events that are coming up in the near future? Um, look for the Diplomat Tour. Look for the Diplomat EP. And, you know, same old yeah, yo, man. We out here grinding. All right. For those that live under a rock, do you have your social media information for all the fans out there? Jim Jones Capo. Across the board. All right, Jim Jones, Harlem Zone. Thanks for joining us on Real Fans Real Talk. RealFansRealTalk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh. and if